We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. The kicker, Graham Gano, set to put his foot into this one. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Patriot offense set to go as they've got it first and 10. On first down, Wilson. He'll get it in the hands of Clark, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Steps away. And his throw is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. Second and ten, it's Wilson again. Eluding the pressure right, and he slides to avoid the hit. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. You know, I don't think this is the last time we'll see that in this game. This guy has mobility, and they want to use his legs in the game plan. So there'll be design runs as well as his scrambles. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. get about four as he's brought down at the 24. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. The right side, that's complete to Clark. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. So they're on the five-yard line here, second down and goal. And he gets them a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I and he is in. Touchdown, New England. Michael Vick taking it in from four yards out. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. Here's Myers now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Scott on first down. He finds an opening past the 40. Throwing left side. He's got Clark complete. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the hometown guys with a football here to begin this second quarter of play. And they've got it here with a first down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Prescott now on second down. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, a 22. down throw for Prescott. Over the middle here to Rudolph. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for him. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Play action here on first down. And complete right side, the tight end Rudolph. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield, or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right? That run after catch. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll look for the first with Tomlinson. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. 
Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And it's caught. Touchdown. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Look at the spin. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Flush to his right. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And we have to give credit to them for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Now let's see how yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll indeed go for it with Wilson. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ryan Shazier. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on social media. And once again, thanks for watching.